Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. I just got home from a trip to Northern California where I spoke on the topic of Christian courage. I'm so glad there are some people in California that'll still speak to me. Last year I was on a Canadian radio show and tried to broker a deal to trade California for British Columbia. <laughs> Negotiations seemed to be going pretty good until they asked if Pelosi was gonna be a part of the deal. I got some interesting letters from people in California about that. It was a long flight all the way from Daytona Beach with lots of delays. And when we finally got to Sacramento, the weather forced us to go on to San Francisco. The airline wasn't sure how they were gonna get us back to Sacramento. I thought, oh great, I'm gonna be in San Francisco at night wearing black leather and a cowboy hat. Gee, what could possibly go wrong there? But it turned out I didn't have to get off the plane. The weather cleared and we flew back to Sacramento. The Walking Dead never even knew I was in their city. Now, I love Northern California. It is beautiful country filled with honest, hardworking Americans who love God and are fed up with the Looney Tunes in the California government making a laughing stock out of their state and dumping ridiculous regulations on them that take Northern California's water, wrecks their businesses, and tramples on their constitutional rights. The Republicans have abandoned the good people of California and don't even try to win elections there anymore. The God and country people are being drowned in a tsunami of left-wing, anti-God, anti-freedom, pornographic policies that would make our founding fathers vomit. So, the good people of California are ready to take the top of California and form a new state. And yes, this just might happen. With the newly elected Congress, there's enough support to make it happen. The organizers think they will have their new state in about two years. The state of Jefferson, named after Thomas Jefferson, a state where common sense will make a comeback, where the Constitution is written in stone, not used for kitty litter by liberal pussy cats. Wouldn't it be poetic justice to carve out a new God and country Tea Party state out of the most liberal socialist state in America, taking their most beautiful counties, the ones that have the most water? Now, theoretically, the state of California has to approve the formation of this new state of Jefferson. I just cannot imagine the California state government doing anything that would promote traditional God and country values. Well, rabble rouser that I am, I encourage the people of Northern California to do it anyway. This nation was not formed by asking permission from tyrants, and we do not have to ask evil men for permission to honor God in the USA. In fact, Thomas Jefferson, the man the new state is named for, once said, a little rebellion now and then is a good thing. Something like this needs to happen in America. We the people need to push back against Washington, D.C. before Washington, D.C. sells our entire nation down the sewer. We have the bad habit of putting our faith in the idea that if we can just elect the right people to Congress, they'll fix things. No, they won't. The voters just handed the Republicans the greatest landslide victory in years, and they are already betraying that trust. Mitch McConnell immediately took over as Senate Majority Leader and started talking like they were already defeated. Mitch McConnell, along with John Boehner, are the career politicians whose fingerprints are all over the problems this nation is facing. They are the men who created the problems we the people want fixed. They have done nothing to stop the disastrous spending, the promotion of pornographic lifestyles for our kids, the trampling of the First and Second Amendment freedoms, and the suicidal national security policies. The only thing I know that McConnell has ever declared war on is the Tea Party Americans who believe the government should obey the law. Nope, Washington, D.C. politicians will never clean up their act. The only way this nation is going to keep from going under is for people like us to rise up against Washington, D.C. corruption. And I can't think of a more powerful statement than the forming of the state of Jefferson. Now, this is something that all Americans all over the nation should rally behind. I've already been on Holmes.com looking for a place to live in the new state of Jefferson. But you don't have to move there to support it. The state of Jefferson may well be the domino that triggers the other dominoes to fall and take back our country from the scoundrels who have seized power and betrayed us.
The time for half measures is long past. It's time for freedom-loving Americans to go for the gold. So go to www.jeffersondeclaration.com. Learn about this powerful mission that would send shockwaves through the enemies of freedom, including the turncoat Republicans who think they can betray Mr. and Mrs. America with impunity. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America bless God again.